Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we will be looking at this owl statue uploaded by Kushwa. First things first, we go down to developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they don't write too much in here, but that's more than fine and we can figure out those settings on our own. So once you're ready, we're next going to go up here to the download all files. You should get a folder similar to this with only a single STL. So click and hold on it and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. Give it a few seconds to load in. Once it's finished loading, you should see the owl right here in the center of the print bed. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the model to a different size. This right now stands at 15 centimeters tall, and you can see the size is down here in the bottom left-hand corner. But I really don't want something this big, so I'm going to scale it down. And to do that, you're going to click on the model. Then we're going to go down here to the scale button, which is the second one down. And we're going to make sure uniform scaling is set to on, so make sure this is checked. That means that it will scale both the X, Y, and Z directions equally. And then you can scale to whatever percentage you want. I want to scale it down to 50%. So I'm going to type in 50, enter, then it'll give me a small little owl, which is exactly what I want. Now let's mess with the settings. First, we're going to select the layer height by going to the profile option up here. You can select whatever layer height you want. I will print it at a 0.2 millimeter, but if you want to have a little bit sharper details and sharper corners, Select the 0.16 millimeter. If this pops up, simply click on the discard button to erase all previous profile modifications. We're not going to mess with shell, we're not going to mess with infill, but we will go straight down to support. Now the model at this scale really does not need supports, but you will have some issues with a little bit of, I would say, blobbing uh, with the model with these little red lines. As you see, there's a lot of red, meaning supports are recommended here according to Cura, and normally you can just sand these off. Take a look at the showcase of the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's little little blobs here. For me that didn't really matter and it didn't take away too much, so in order to save filament and time, I decided not to add any supports. But if you want to have this model perfect and sharp and clean, or if you're printing at a larger scale like the 100% scale, I probably would print with supports. But for me, like I said, it's 50% and the blobs are very minimal and didn't really affect too much, so I'm going to leave supports off. Next is build plate adhesion. If you take a look at the bottom of the model, there's plenty of contact area, so no build, build plate adhesion is needed there. And we are set now. All we have to do is click on the slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 2 hours and 14 minutes, but that will depend on what uh, scale value you used as well as the settings you used. And you will also be given an estimated filament usage of 18 grams. Now we always preview the print and take a look around, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything looks perfectly normal, so all we have to do now is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here is the owl straight off the build plate. Everything came out beautifully and there are no defects whatsoever. There are two things that may catch your eye though. One in the front, there was some overhangs that we were talking about and you can see a little bit of blobs, but those can definitely be sanded out. I didn't think it was worth adding any supports, so up to you on if you want to add them or not based on this video. And number two, in the very back, considering it's all smooth, you can definitely see the seam, which is where the printer changes the Z-axis. That, once again, can also be uh, sanded out if needed. But other than that, the model came out really good, and I definitely recommend it for anybody who wants a little owl statue.